All right, here we go once again. XCOM Chimera Squad Campaign 2. Sacred Coil beat us to the ground. And apparently that's not unexpected for Sacred Coil at that point. So we're going to start a whole brand new game. Normal. No tutorial. And we'll keep everything else, I think, the same. Full heal is tempting, to be honest. After that. Give me a better chance on those really long missions, but we'll stick to normal behavior. Yeah, I, uh, I went through this the first time. We're a good game. Mm -hmm. Tonight, Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The City Council asks citizens to remain... So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the Reclamation Agency to the city. Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. So now we choose our squad to begin with. It looks like they kind of have like a difference between like the advanced guys and recommended starters. Or maybe it's just I, I've used these and not these others yet. So I've seen Verge, Terminal, Cherub, Torque, Godmother, and Axiom in action. At least for the first quarter to a third of the game. Claymore has explosives. got the dead eye. Psionic buff. Okay. Chaining Jolt sounds extremely good. Zephyr also sounds really fun. Let's do... I'm I'm the most dubious about Claymore, if I'm being honest. Explosives are interesting in this game, with the timeline and the delayed explosion. They could be really strong, but they could also be kind of... A whiff? I'm gonna say uh, Shelter, Patchwork, Blue Blood, and Zephyr. Just to give ourselves the most different experience possible. We'll see how that goes. Oh, view meta content. Uh, unseen agents, unseen factions. I got to 33% on Sacred Coil. And there are epic weapons, apparently. They've got epic loot drops. Okay. That's different. Chimera Squad, heads up. 
Director's on the line from XCOM HQ. Chimera Squad, I know you're still settling in, but this cannot wait. A short time ago, insurgents crashed the opening of City 31's Memorial Museum. They took Mayor Nightingale hostage. 3-1 PD attempted a rescue, but the insurgents triggered a plasma bomb. Everyone inside was lost. Yes, 3-1 PD should have requested our help, but dwelling on that is counterproductive. We need to focus on what we do next. A crude plasma bomb killed the mayor. The insurgents had no access to materials for that. Does that mean they had outside help? Most likely. There are three groups in City 31 with access to this kind of ordinance. So we did Sacred Coil last time. And that got us kicked up and down the street. So we'll do Grey Phoenix next. Grey Phoenix is a group of primarily muton scavengers operating in the city. Recently, they've armed themselves with highly restricted weaponry. That puts them on our radar. Director, these are local criminals. Isn't that 3-1 PD's jurisdiction? True. A reclamation agency supports local police, but we're also required to recover dangerous material. From those who would do the world harm, and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff. So what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations, and take them down. Meanwhile, we look for any links to the mayor's death. Either way, the dangerous organization is off the streets. Exactly. The city wants justice for Mayor Nightingale. This is how we help them achieve it. All right. Check it out. Headquarters sent us an assembly. With the right patterns, we can build anything. Or we could, with our temporary field office has all the basics. Weapons, comms, and ammunition. Supply is where we request everything else. As long as it's in the squad's budget, it's ours. Welcome to City 31. During Advent's occupation, the city was a fortress supporting an active starport. Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and humans alike. There's new industry, self-government, and local agriculture to support the varied populations. Against all odds, this city thrived after the war. There were no retributive attacks. Until tonight. We don't know that. Not yet. But we can find out. Well, it is, uh... Oh, we can drop our first uh, field team and get paid in some respect. I'll go ahead and drop the uh, finance team. Because I spent all of our money on trank rounds. Here we go. Say a hostile force has access to a dangerous device, but destroying it would cause harm to you or others. In that case, finesse is the better option. Approach the device and disable it, just as you were trained. You have fists. You don't need trank rounds, which is good. Because I've only got three. Time to see what this is all about. A short while ago, Gray Phoenix engaged unknown assailants at this location. After the shooting stopped, Gray Phoenix locked down the whole block. Any civilians? No, they all made it clear. Gray Phoenix told them leave and keep running. Now, does that seem strange to you? Very. We're missing something here. Let's see if we can fill in the blanks. All right. Last unit through this entrance is marked until the end. All right. Be 
doing Zephyr patchwork for most health to get marked, so we'll see how this goes. We're heading in. We have vipers, or adders, rather. And a uh, muton legionnaire. Good stuff. Pretty solid. So the Legionnaire is going to go, and Zephyr is out of position. So we'll team up with Zephyr. Give him a chance to move up. Okay, so we can swap positions here. I don't really want to at this stage. How about just keep if an I eye see on it, you? I'll shoot it. Deep breath. Pick your shots. You are pretty much strictly melee only. You are far away from anyone. This attack cannot miss and will trigger momentum. Hello. Let's find you some high cover and prep. That's really all we can do. Is that where you're going? Oh, that's not, that's a non-trivial amount of damage there. That's just guaranteed, isn't it? Shocking hostile. Frying the hostile. Come on. Fight from the rear. And that kills. I don't have a very good source of healing at this juncture. I'm getting a strong source of Illyrium in your vicinity. I can't pinpoint a location. There's no good reason Grey Phoenix would need that much Illyrium. All right. Not have a breaching charge. Could have bought one, didn't. First unit is guaranteed to land their shot. We'll give that to Shelter because he's got the assault rifle. Let's do this. Legionnaire is alert. The Legionnaire is surprised. Let's get you for certain. Yes. Get the adder. Get. That's very strong. This, that adder's gonna go, and then that legionnaire's gonna go that way. Uh-oh. Well, okay. I mean, I guess. Four to five damage or two to three. We'll I don't know how many we've knocked unconscious at this point, I haven't been accounting. We'll just go for two subdues. 
Hostile. Literally pull our punches here. You're under arrest. Whoa, I'm reading a massive Illyrium core in the next room. It, it, it's losing stability fast. Secure and contain that core before it takes out the whole block. Let's not do anything hasty, like blow it up. Thanks for stating the obvious there. Shelter. Still no breaching a charge. Who gets one armor? Uh, Patchwork does. Ready to go. You. Probably you. Get a free shot. Okay. Oh dear. That is the largest person I've ever seen. Smashing extremity. Status. Get behind some cover. You are a fair good distance away, but actually, how feasible would it be to just like do a target swap move. here or just shoot? Ha! <laughs> Nicely done. Well, I think this team will work just fine. of Illyrium. Why do they need that much power? Illyrium access would allow them to refine an explosive powerful enough to kill Mayor Nightingale. Grey Phoenix has the means. Find out if they had the motive. What's a crude plasma bomb? The director convinced the city council we're too understaffed to be effective. This means we can bring more agents to City 31. It's not the whole squad, not yet, but it's something. Let's go ahead and just bring on Claymore just to round out the team. Whisper, where is the mess? Claymore. All around you, pal. <laughs> Very funny. I brought a fish curry for the squad. How'd you sneak that past headquarters? Three spare canteens. You are the man. I'm the man who serves dinner in 15 minutes. I guess we got our chef. All right. Metal agent. That's going to finish. Training, maybe? Oh. Got 20 bucks. Probably have you on spec I'm ops. I'm authorizing for Chimera Squad for special operations. Some ops provide useful resources for the squad. Keep an eye out for these opportunities. Means our assembly will be slow, but... I don't really know what to rush yet, either. As you've experienced, Grey Phoenix is surprisingly coordinated and disciplined. Discover what keeps them bound together. 
Simple as that, huh? Let's see. Chimera Squad, I'm Commissioner Maloof of 31 PD. To be blunt, I don't give a chrysalis ass about the politics. I'm glad you're in the, the city. The chrysalis have asses? Three don't answer that. Stretched thin before the mayor's death. There are gaps to fill, and that's where you come in. When your agents can handle a situation better than my officers, I'll send the details your way. If the city council has a problem with that, I'll take the heat. They can't afford to fire me. I look forward to working with you. Commissioner Maloof, not even going to say hello? Blue blood, is it now? Couldn't hack into 31 PD, so you had to fail upward? You know how it is, Halia. I always pick the easy path. The department is happy to see one of its own back in town. Good to be back. We'll do right by you, Commissioner. Of that, I have no doubt. That is cute that each of the characters has like a little connection to the world in some way that triggers a small dialogue. It's a very good touch. It's a target analyzer, which would be pretty cool, but I kind of want to get ahead on get ahead on the faction mission before things get out of hand. Reclamation training spent a lot of time on hostage situations, so you know how it goes. Focus on any hostile who threatens your VIP. Get them to safety as soon as you can. Oh, we did have a breaching charge. It just was there. Don't have room for a second utility item. However, you can pack a medikit. And let's say... Say shelter, you hold the uh, breaching charge. Okay. No need to overthink it now that we've got a little bit of experience. Starting from scratch, there's not much to it. Gray Phoenix assaulted a water treatment plant and took a hostage. Keep that VIP safe. Oh boy. Right. So there'll be reinforcements until we get out of there. We don't have anyone who can who can vent. That's pretty much Torque alone who can do that without gear. Well, that side window is good. Give that to Zephyr because she's in melee. Who can afford to be rooted? I'm gonna guess. Blood. We'll try it. Time to move. Don't bunch up. It's a fairly big field. stuff that's not likable here. Darn. You're probably going to get shot. I don't want to wait, risk it all on the coin toss. Darn. Not our best breach. Oh, that, that goes before the fearless charge. Okay, good to know. Off our VIP. Lovely. Who needs to get punched today? I think it's you. Get that started right away. You did this. Uh oh. You are going to attempt to 
Uh, you cannot move. Can't really stop here. Oh, that's not a turn ending. Oh, that's good. That was still a miss, though. That guy in high cover. Going Start making live. sure everyone is moving out. Uh, yeah, there. Probably better off. Watching, maybe. Yeah. I'll cover the squad. You get out of the zone. Not right there, huh? That doesn't work well for us. Mutons and Vipers generally don't work well for us. Although admittedly these Vipers are a bit more benign. Traveling. Think about it for a second. Oh good. Destroying cover, good. As if patchwork wasn't exposed enough. Uh oh. Mm. Uh, is patchwork going this turn? Yes. However, we're not going to be escaping this turn. Uh oh. You need more time. But we can probably team up to get you out of here. have to not get bound or anything by this viper. We are going to take some scars, though. Chances are. Oh, that's not enough. Uh-oh. Is that turn ending? I don't think it is. Aha! Hey, that works. A little bit of cleverness saves the day. <laughs> Still, that was pretty ugly. Hey, by the way. <laughs> Hello. Hey, West. All right. Now have an android. An emergency session of the city council voted five to four against a citywide curfew. Councillor Parada spoke for the majority. There is no need for such extreme measures. Mayor Nightingale's death is a tragedy, but to shut down the city due to fear would reject the very principle. I'm sure you already know your way around the armory. Uh, each of you has a locker here. But it's also where we announce field promotions, which I'm doing now. Thank you. Truly. Congratulations. I realize now there should have been a cake. Uh, the first person you select to get a promotion gets a little tiny dialogue. Shelter gets a dazzling breach entry. Huh. Blue Blood can just ignore cover for a shot. Can scan the room on breach. Zephyr gets the Templar parry, which is my favorite. 
I'll admit, I miss Cherubin Terminal, though. That shield and that, uh... The shield and the, uh, heal every turn were very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop unrest on a district at least so that by the time it cools down it, generally I want to use like these abilities immediately just so that I'm not like wasting time on them I feel like that's how they're kind of meant to be used no field teams yet but that's the one I want that intel more than well the Illyrium might be good, too, for assembly projects. Go ahead and do that. Spontaneous vigils broke out in honor of Mayor Nightingale, whose recent death still royal City 31. Thousands it's of scope. citizens oh, wish goodness. to pay their respects to our city's first freely elected mayor. Where's extra padding? Oh, that's no contest. She got it, you know? It wasn't about making things better for me and mine. Hybrid, alien, human. She did her best for all of us. The city council voted unanimously to hold elections within the month. Councilor Parada released the following statement. Mayor Nightingale once said, Governance does not need popular approval but it requires the people's consent. Channel 37, Celio Dash reporting. We're gonna have modular weapons after this, which means the advanced scope will be coming in right on time. I think I want to give that to Blue Blood. Who's basically our sniper with a pistol, it seems. Cool. 